Brian, Candace, and Christian. Um, Brian sort of finds, follows my platform. He is a um, he's in events operations. Candace is uh, with Soul Cycle. She's a Lululemon ambassador. And my youngest, as you know, Christian plays for the Chicago Bears. I am the CEO of uh, TJ's Designs and Events. It was formerly known as T um, TJ's Promotions and Events, which I consider myself as an event strategist. <laughs> Because I, provide, I like that title. Yes, I provide a dashing and tailored experience. I'm also um, the national events coordinator for PIFMA, and that's PFPMA. A lot of people don't understand what that means, but that's Professional Football Players Mothers Association, aka NFL it. Moms. And it's a fabulous organization, mothers of professional football players. And also, I'm on the board of GVP, which is Giving Voices Project. And um, is a very unique organization which they um, provide a, a creative platform for the voice of abuse and trauma um, through survivors. And wow. um, I'm also I don't know if knew, I don't know if you knew this, but um, August first of 2019, um, I was a graduate um, of MAT, and that's a uh, Missionaries uh, Academy of Credentialing Training. I'm an evangelist missionary as well. And is there anything you don't do? Yeah, through, through the Western Florida Second <laughs> Jurisdiction. So I'm very excited for what God has allowed me to be here. It's, it's, it's destined for me to be here in the purpose. And, Let's talk um, about that because you yes. are, you know, you obviously post what you went through and share with them. Uh, you know, they read the bio and then some people sure. just tune in and they don't read any bio. So they might not know what I'm referencing. You okay. had what you have had quite a journey. And what I love about everything, and I knew it as soon as I was reading about it, you're, you're resilient uh, and your attitude is just amazing. And I'm, I understand how important that is to fight any battle, it let is. alone multiple battles. So give them a little bit of a background on that. Sure. First and foremost, I've got God, my Lord and Savior. Um, without him, I would not be here. Amen. But in 2002, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was um, a surprise to me. I was devastated. I, uh, how did I know or how did I feel? Uh, I just didn't feel, I, I found um, a, a spot on my breast. I didn't, didn't look just right. And I went to my primary physician and um, we had a mammogram done. And a week later, they called me to come back to the office. And I'm like, why do I have to go to the office? But they wanted to talk to me in person. And at that time, I discovered I had breast cancer. And I was devastated, had no no clue what to expect. All kinds of things go through your head as sure. far as uh, am I going to live? What what am I what am I going to face? I have three small children at the time. Uh, what's going to happen to me? Um, I went through eight aggressive treatments of uh, chemo. Wow. Um, I went through the period of um, you know losing my hair the whole night, which I was not focused on that. I could not focus on that. I stayed focused on the fact of getting well so when you hear you put like you mentioned my son they never knew because i never bought into the fact of the diagnosis i looked past it because i knew the god that i served can get me through this and i did i love that i did, I love I did. That. and then six years later i had a reoccurrence and that too i wasn't expecting that to happen well and i mean i think every cancer as a survivor, you know, it's always in the back of your mind, right? It's, it's there. Right. You don't want to focus on it or give it any life, but you no. know it's kind of hanging there. Uh, that's dev I would imagine that was at least initially devastating since it just caught you by surprise. It, it caught me by surprise. And, and, you know, when people find out your battles, they, they're very careful about what they say. They don't know what to say to you. Yeah. But I never I kept it on a life, a, a laughable um, kind of tone, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, because I didn't want no nobody to feel sorry for me. Look, I had a diagnosis again, but I'm going to beat this thing. I had to stay positive about it. I didn't never buy into it because I think it's very positive to stay positive about your situation and to educate yourself and uh, and also make a uh, change in your lifestyle as far as, hey, I need to be in priority here. Self-care. Mm -hmm. Self-care diva. 2014, I was driving home from a client had a migraine out of this world to the point I was totally confused did not know how to get home. Um, the pain was just piercing in my head. Um, 
get home. My husband, my sister was waiting for me because I couldn't remember how to get home. That's how bad the pain was. And I, to this day, I can't tell you how I got home, but I ended That's up- That's a grace of God thing there. <laughs> and when I got arrived home, um, you go into the emergency room. I was going to take two Tylenols, go to bed. I thought that was going to be, but I found out later, if I would have, I would have never woke up. Wow. They found uh, two tumors in my brain um, and I had emergency surgery um, two days, a day and a half later. Um, but I must tell you too, that I went in knowing that, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to face. Because they already told my parents, my husband, my family, we don't know if she's going to come out to be the same person. Is she going to be able to walk, talk? But guess what? When I had my surgery, the first thing I asked for was my iPad. <laughs> 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 and, I, when I, uh, and I tell you, with the prayers of the, uh, my, my community, my family, my church, they, they, they all was just, it's all hovered around me. That's why it's good to have positive people around you that can help you push to the point of, you can say, Hey, I'm a survivor. I made it. <laughs> I mean, you're not just a survivor. You are a three time survivor. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is something like I know going through it. I thought, all right, I can get through the same attitude. Um, but I imagine what I love about you is your, your faith obviously provides you uh, this strength, which nobody understands. I think there's something right. scriptural there. Right. And so you um, go forth and do good. The fact that uh, in one of the interviews, your son said, I just didn't even know. Mm -hmm. um, that just means you're plotting forward. That doesn't mean like sometimes people hear that and they think, well, she's just in denial. Guys, there's a difference between denial and faith. And there's a difference between okay, I'm going to pretend it didn't happen or I know it's there, but I'm still going to plug through and do what I have to do and leave it all in our but can, to God. But can I tell you something? Yeah. When I came out that surgery, I was, I said, I asked my iPad, right? When I looked on the screen, my son was, um, they was playing against, the Bears are playing against the Bucks. Okay. He did a fumble recovery on the 22nd of November. Okay. While he was recovering, I was recovering because I actually woke up and saw him catch the, didn't do the fumble recovery. Love it. So he's recovering the ball and I'm recovering. Isn't that something? <laughs> that is amazing. That's another message. You know, you're on the right mm -hmm. path. God gives us a lot of great messages. We just, a lot of times don't pay attention to them. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> or we don't, we're not in tune enough to know that that's a real message. I'm like, what do you want it? Some him to sky write it for you. Um, you know how some people are. All right. right. So talk about the self care part, because that is a big, big, buzzword term self-care mm -hmm. but i think a lot of people think self-care um they do things but it doesn't necessarily add to their self-care i feel like it stresses them out even more mm -hmm. so tell me where the the idea or the approach to be the self-care deep well it, it came from the fact i just mentioned what happened to me right yes. i know and when i went back and started digging deep and all that, I was going through a lot of personal things. Uh, I was under a lot of stress. You go through work. Yeah, you have your schedule nine to five and you're on this routine, right? But you you, you don't, you start forgetting about what's important. It's you. Um, I had appointments I missed. My focus was my children. I was focusing on my job. <laughs> I was focused on that routine and I wasn't focusing on me. So self-care diva came about when I started dissecting going back to the very beginning, what was missed? I was missed. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't focused on um, exercise, eating, or just having that personal time, that quiet time to meditate and be your be, uh, be what you want to invite in, if that makes sense. Yes. I had to learn how to do that. And that's why self-care diva came effect because I started writing that book living a mass life because that comes in twine sometimes we go through things in our life that we don't want nobody to know about or yep. we about, and we wearing this mask to hide all that stuff behind that mask because number one sometimes we're trying to live for other people or you don't want nobody to really know hey what's really going on with you you may be depressed you may not have low self-esteem you may have a lot of things going on but that mask you wear that thing well I think a lot of people do, right? They, they we, do. we learn how to do it. It's a defense mechanism. It's yeah. a survival skill. Yeah. Uh, you wear masks. You're also afraid, like you said, 
what are people going to think if I'm the real me in front of them? So I'm going to create this persona that's not. And one of the things that I've learned over the years, especially doing the show, is that being authentic and vulnerable are authentic. a that's million times more powerful than trying to hide your ish. That, that is the key. And, and my platform was because of what I went through. Sometimes people look at you from the outside and don't realize what's going on in the inside. So I decided to write the book to let people know, hey, this is what who I am. I'm authentic. I'm going to be transparent so that you know what I went through, you can go through it too. But yeah, take that mask off and be you. you know, despite what people think about you, it's, it's be you. Be authentic. Be transparent. Sometimes people think being transparent or being vulnerable where people do personal attacks. But hey, once you learn you and love you and be you, like they say, live, laugh and love, ain't nothing they can do about it. Because you what? You're very confident as to as to who you are. <laughs> it's so powerful, right? When you when you finally peel that back and realize you don't have to wear that mask anymore mm -hmm. and that either people are going to love you or not love you. And the ones who don't, it wasn't meant to be. Exactly. Uh, and you're being your own true self to your own true self, being as we are faith people, you know, just you, you're doing the right thing and plotting through and and praying and going along with the plans made for you. Right. It is so cool to just be you and not have to be anyone else in front of people because you're afraid of the reaction. That's right. Um, but it's not easy. Right. So it, it takes right. a while because we're taught from an early age to wear that mask. So. What are the, some of the things that you do in your day, maybe to kick off your day or end your day or both, where you're where you're doing self-care diva stuff? What do you do? Are you meditating, prayer? Do you I read? Do. When I uh, get, tell us what you do. I incorporate prayer in my daily life because without prayer, I, I don't know where I would be because it gives me a form of direction and peace and discernment. Because I can honestly say, I ask everybody to pray for discernment because it, it, it is a... I give it a, it's a tool to walk you through life, whether you make that right turn or your left turn and identify what you don't need to do. And that's what I do on a daily basis. Um, and I find time for quiet time and I find time for me, meaning that, hey, if I want to get my hair done, I want to get my nails done because this is my thing. People laugh about it. You don't have to look busted and disgusted. Meaning that <laughs> you're going to you gonna, you gonna, you gonna for me. <laughs> For me, I like to put my makeup on, a little lipstick. Sometimes I make it and disgusted. Yeah, but no, you don't have to look like that. No, you you can you, know. yeah, it, you can fix stuff in the outside and, and it works in the inside. It makes you feel great, right? <laughs> Agreed. No, I I agree with you. Like sometimes people go out and I can tell that how they felt about them that morning because right. they look like however they felt. They look sad, busted, mm -hmm. disgusted. I yeah. don't know. They look it. And you can tell when somebody's like, I'm having a rough day and I don't care. And they, yeah. haven't, they haven't tried to figure out right. that that kind of stuff, if you can change that, the inside starts to change. Exactly. Too. You start shining on the outside. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That caught me off guard. That's a good one. Uh, so what do you want to do? Are you trying to bring a self-care diva movement? What are you working on? What I'm working on, because I'm an event strategist, and I wrote the book, Living in Mass Life. I'm incorporating the self-care. I think I, this one of the shirts I got on today. Ooh, I love hair. Hold on. Let's put it. We're going to put you front and center. And, Give me and, a and, there yeah, you go. Self -care Look at that stuff. shirt. That is so cool. And I have several other designs. And I'm building a platform. Um, we have some upcoming events that is going to incorporate the self-care diva. Um, so I'm excited about it because I'm targeting a women like that was like me. Hurting women, women that simply don't know how the identity, um, just just having that platform where you can come and have a great time and have that self care platform. So I'm so excited about it. And um, how they can find out about it is um, my website is terrellynjones.com. I got and it scrolling. Yes, and you can go on and see the products. You can also it, to, for the ones that's viewing, if you go on the contacts and, and let me know you saw the show, that you can enter into our self care diva giveaway, which Ooh. I'm excited away. Uh, I think I have. We love giveaways here. here. This one. Well, look at that. Oh, you so got good swag. <laughs> so I'm excited because I'm all about um, making a platform to introduce how to remove that mask. And be that self-care diva. You deserve that. 
to be that self care diva. Mm -hmm. Where does this, where does this come from, Terrilyn? Did you grow up in a family that was positive? Obviously, faith is important to you, and so I know that adds to it. Mm -hmm. But you know, a lot of people who are faith uh, faith based, mm -hmm. uh, they don't always have the positive attitude. You just have well, this energy, this hope, this I'm light. Not my parents, my mom and my dad, um, just watching them grow up, they've always been the most positive people you ever want to meet. And to, to incorporate, they incorporated it all of them, not just to me, my sister and brothers, three of us. And they incorporated that. And I remember when I started going through these trials in my life, all of that, like I say, train of a child and the way they should go when they get old, they will not depart from it. So that was instilled in me. So those type of um, things that I went through, was able to be rebirthed and remind me, hey, you have this that you're going through. Don't focus on it. Get through this. Believe God going to get through it and guide you through it. And that's exactly what happened. So with, with that being said, it was some bad days now where I can remember not feeling good about myself, the hair loss and all these different things I went through. But in, within me, you never knew it. Because I'll tell you a little quick story. I was, I was a director of medical records at a facility at the time, and I had lost all my hair. And so I went, to, they didn't know it because I went to a place where people didn't know they have, you can purchase wigs that they can just cut your hair just like your hair was. So I went to work and everybody was tense. They didn't know what to say to me because they're like, oh my God, what can I say? So I shut the door and it was like, oh my God, you look the same. You didn't lose your hair, but I did because I had a wig that looked exactly like my hair. So what I did, I shut the door. And I looked at it and it was all tense. And what I did, I snatched the wig off <laughs> so they can see. And when I did that, they, they didn't know what not to laugh or say. And I started laughing really hard and laughing real loud. And then they started laughing. And that's what broke the monopoly to let them know, hey, I'm okay. I just lost my hair. I'm still the same person. And look at me, I'm here. So that broke the monopoly and everybody just laughed. And from that point, we were able to talk about it. Yeah. yeah, I went through. So powerful because a lot of people don't. They don't have. And speaking of that, did you do you have any uh, recommendations or advice? Uh, we have a lot of people because of they know my cancer journey, and I do a lot of right. stuff with uh, cancer awareness. Uh, any you. tips for somebody who might have recently got diagnosed, or they're facing chemo or radiation or both? Um, anything you can kind of give them I, words I, of I, wisdom I, or hope? I recommend once you you're diagnosed to surround yourself around. Number one, you pray and ask God to guide you through it. Number two, you surround yourself around positive people and you educate yourself on the diagnosis, but don't buy into the diagnosis. And you do everything that you need to do by your physician's um, directives and you get through it. Um, do, and you're going to have your bad days. You're going to have days you don't know what's going to happen. You, sometimes you may be dreaming like, oh, what's, I'm going to die. No, don't even buy until you keep that negative stuff out of your thought process. And you follow your doctor's directives. And after you get, I'm going to say this, speak this into this, you will get through it. But you're going to follow up. Don't miss any appointments. And you follow through. Because that's where the self-care diva steps in. Because you got to take care of you. And if you take care of you, you can take care of everybody else. So true. All right. The one and only the Terrilyn Jones. That was amazing and inspirational, just like I knew it would be. Uh, TerrilynJones.com. It's scrolling across the bottom. Reach out to her. Get involved in the self-care diva movement initiative. Um, what a blessing you are. What a great way to kick off Thank this you. Friday. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Thank you for sharing your journey. It, Guys, the more we share with people, the more people like Terrilyn share their journey, the more people we impact. Because There's a lot of people out there who are going through stuff and they don't have anybody to give them any kind of advice. Maybe they don't have, didn't come from faith-based. Maybe they didn't have parents who were positive. So terrilyn has got this whole thing going on and I really yeah, want they to- Yeah, they can get that too. Oh, that's let's look, let's look. Hold yeah. on, I gotta give you, I gotta give you props to the Yeah, front. look at that live. You read this, it will walk you through. Um, removing that mask and becoming the self-care diva you are. Beautiful. And we can get that on the site, right? We can buy it on the site. Yes, CarolynJones.com. You go on that site and you'll be able to purchase the book. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Please come back anytime. Thank you, you really are an inspiration. I think what you do for the world brings a lot of light to a lot of people. So Thank big thanks. All Thank right. You. And shout out to Candy Bryan. 
I will. I love her. All right, Candy. All right, Terilyn. Have a beautiful weekend. You Thank, you. Thank you. You guys go to TerilynJones.com or follow her on any of her social media. We're tagged everywhere. Um, get out if you're suffering or you're scared. Seriously, there's help out there. There are people who have been through it. Let us try to help you through it too. So reach out to Terilyn Jones at TerilynJones.com. You guys have Thank a great you. weekend. See you the same. Bye-bye.